What's up guys? My name is Khan. We're back today in Scrap Mechanic and I'm joined once again by my good buddy Moombo. How's it going Moombo? Oh Khan, I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm not too bad. And as you can see guys, right behind me here, we've got a DC-3. Now this is an old tail dragging kind of cargo plane slash passenger plane from the World War II era. And uh, I was working on some planes for a completely unrelated project. And I started building this plane and then realized it was way too big for what I was doing. I am in the pilot seat. I okay. have I have nine controls, four sw five switches, and four buttons. If you jump into the co-pilot seat, hey, wait a second, you that have, sounds familiar. You have nine controls. I do. So everything on this plane is fully wired up for both the pilot and the co-pilot. Our seats, for all intents and purposes, are identical, just on opposite sides of the plane. Get out of here. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So we're gonna we're gonna try flying this thing. It flies uh, pretty realistically. I actually kind of tried to duplicate the tail dragging effect too. So I'll I'll do the first takeoff and really kind of show you what that is. But uh, since you're the co-pilot, you want to go remove the wheel chocks. Oh yes, absolutely, Captain. So while Mumbo does that, I'll just go through the controls real quick. So the controls on this plane are pretty simple. Um, one activates sort of the lift thrusters, but as you can see. It won't actually lift off the ground. It's designed to only lift when you're giving it forward thrust, which is actually a really cool feature. Two activates the landing gear, so we're gonna we're gonna keep them up. Uh, three activates an idler motor, so this allows you to sort of drive the plane. You can see really slowly taxi it down the runway, and you can even see there in the back the back wheel does in fact rotate on a controller. Four is the lift thrusters, so there's no throttle control with W or S or anything like that. Four is your only throttle. You're on with four. But uh, it'll move you forward and it'll give you a little bit of lift. And then when you press 1 after you've activated 4, you'll actually lift off the runway. A and D are turn left and turn right. Or when you're in the air, yaw left and yaw right. Uh, 5 and 6 are, are pitch up and pitch down. So I believe 5 is pitch down and 6 is pitch up. And then 7 and 8 are roll left and roll right. And then 9 is just that uh, back door there. Just in case, you know, you forget to close it. Happened too many times. So let's put it on a button. So you should have all the same controls there, Moombo, as well. I do. I can kind of, I can steer it a little bit here left and right as well. Yeah, I'm just going to, see, look, hands-free, hands-free, Moombo can steer too. Yeah, Kinda I can taxi cool. here a little bit for us. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. I, I really like it. I really like having the co-pilot controls. We're going to take off here in true tail dragger style. <laughs> wow, that is a tongue twister. All right, and in three, two, one, I'm going to activate four. Then I'm gonna press five to bring the nose down and bring those that uh, tail end up there a little bit. Give it a little Three. bit of a taxi, and then press one, and we're up in the air. Gear up, and we're going. We're gonna roll left a little bit here. Yeah, I'll uh, we'll bring us to yeah. the left a little bit. Yeah, let's just let's just do a few laps here. To try the. Uh... We're gonna bring the. I think we actually we'll climb up a little bit slower. How about like this right here? Yeah, pick up some more uh, ground speed a little bit. I love the look of this plane, man. I really, really like the, the look. It just feels so natural. It does. It really does. I also, I have a thing for prop planes. I don't know why. I just, I really oh, like me too. prop planes. They're just, there's something about them that just gets me going. Yeah, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Turbojets are cool and turbofan engines and all that stuff. But like old school prop planes are just amazing. And the DC-3 was an old school, I think it was like a, it was a 12 or a 16 cylinder piston banger. It was kind of awesome. Wicked engines. All right, while you do that, I'm going to see if I can tour the airplane. I don't I don't know if this is going to work. Do you think it will? I think we're going too fast. Stall it out. Yeah, bring the tail down even more. Ooh, a little too much. Just slow it down a little bit there. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can do it. Oh, yeah. No, I'm in the back. Okay. So you can see we've got this nice... Uh, you're, wow, we are flying. Are you stuck in the back? No, I'm good. I'm, I'm walking around, no problem. I, can I even... might have to hang a left here soon. That's okay. I can open the door even. See? <laughs> I'm going to start my left turn. This is Oh, okay, yeah. You turn left. I got the door closed. Um, I can't go past the uh, invisible barrier that is this little lip for some reason, but that's okay. All right. We're going to go back into the cockpit here get back in the seat. Help the... Uh, holy cow. We've got some altitude, don't we? Yeah. I think we should drop some of this altitude. I agree. It's getting hard to see the uh, fence there. The I altimeter think. is going crazy right now. I'm dropping us some altitude pretty good here. I see that, yeah, nice, nice smooth. Hang Same a sharp sense. left. 
the same sense too, Moonbo. The nice thing about this plane is because the four control has to be activated for us to go forward, there's actually a bunch of lift thrusters hooked into the four control. So, oh, yeah. So if I press one, we'll shed a lot of altitude. You see there, the nose dips down a little bit and we'll start to yeah. shed altitude, but we won't completely lose all lift because there is still lift being provided by the, uh, the four controller. So it really lets you come in for those nice landings. But see guys, I haven't been doing anything this whole video. I'm literally sitting here talking. Like I play rock, paper, scissors with myself while Moombo just flies the plane. But whenever <laughs> I want, I can just jump back in and take control. It's quite awesome. All right, I'm gonna help you uh, roll it back here straight. Whoops, whoops. It's all good, it's all good. Nose down, nose down, keep that nose there down. There you go, perfect. See, it helps when you have two people flying. It really, it, it really does so much easier to use we got a turn left that's a nice turn oh 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 we're oh we're stalling oh oh yeah a little stall we uh we turned a little aggressive there we kind of made it not fly like a plane but that's okay i think when we get into one of those situations someone needs to slam the five key it's Whoa. so nice to have two people controlling everything at once i know it makes it so smooth when it flies because you just, you, you don't even really have to talk too much about what you're doing. I mean, it's pretty, pretty, you know, easy to see what you need the plane to write out or whatever, right? All right, let's just, uh, let's do another loop here. And then we'll see if we can uh, land this sucker. Land this sucker. Oh, I noticed an unpainted gate. Oh yeah, there are a few that are unpainted. I'm gonna just keep letting you fly. I'm, I seriously haven't done like anything this entire video. I've been like maybe adjusting it once or twice. We'll just roll it straighter here. Perfect. Oh, I'm the, I'm the, the intern co-pilot doing all the work. Well, that's how it works, right? Like captains do the landings and the takeoffs and then they just kind of let the co-pilot do the rest. Gotta log them hours. Pretty much. Gotta get your DC-3 certification, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've really never built very many planes this game. I think I've got like three total including the hang glider so i mean that there's my entire plane count but uh, i really wanted to do this and i really wanted to do a nice big plane project because i haven't done one and i really wanted to make one that had realistic flight controls quote unquote or as, as realistic as we could get within the boundaries of scrap mechanic it doesn't have throttle control but i actually chose to do that by design not because i didn't want to have to set up the wasd for mainly because this is a tail dragger and that takeoff really has to bring the tail up so i really wanted to get that sort of effect all right let's uh and, let's yeah bring the just nose. so you know Connor, we're taking this in for a nice landing here i see that all right you take care of the altitude and i'll take care of lining this up here beauty Redeployed. we gotta we gotta yaw right a little bit here yep Straight we down. are now centered Roll left a little bit. Oh, yep, rolling left, bringing the tail down. Coming tail in, touching. Hit, hitting the four button to cut the throttle. Oh, a little yep, bit of a bounce. The tail is on contact. Oh, not oh, bad. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty smooth. Safe landing. I mean, a little bit of a bounce there. We could have probably come in softer. I think part of that too, though, is the landing gear don't have suspension, so they kind of just yeah. hit. And then you get that weird bearing glitch, you know, where the bearing kind of shifts off its axis, and we are going to run off the run. We have no brakes. Oh, God. Oh, we're totally screwed. No brakes. I think it's the crosswind. Turn, turn. Oh, look at that turning oh, radius. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I, I should have probably turned off the idler engine. That would have probably... That would have stopped us. <laughs> we just idled off the runway. Well, there's the problem. Freaking pilot left the engine on. Anyways, guys, I know this isn't the uh, Hover City episode yet. That is coming very, very soon. I've been working very hard on it. It is a very big section that's coming up. Uh, definitely bigger than the hospital, but not as heavy, I think. It might be heavier. I don't know. It's pretty close, but uh, definitely a big section coming up. So that's coming up very, very soon. Uh, I know you guys are all anticipating that, but uh, I did just want to get this build out because I was working on planes for an unrelated project. And uh, this, I was watching a show as well with this plane. And I really wanted to get that co-pilot feel, and I really wanted to get the realistic flight experience. And as you can see, it does make the circuit diagram a bit of a mess, but that's only because you can see there's a 5, a 6, a 5, a 6. Every control is duplicated up in the cockpit, and thus you have all the logic gates to handle that in the back and here. But it does work. It works quite well. I think it's a pretty good flyer. Thank you, Moombo, for chalking the wheels, and thank you for being my co-pilot today. No, it was my pleasure. Thank you for having me.
no problem. It was a lot of fun. So we'll definitely have to do this on a few more planes. Uh, I am not a very good plane builder. This is like a fluke. The fact that I was able to make this plane <laughs> as well as I did. But I think this guy right here, he's sort of the plane master. And I think I could help him wire up some planes and we might get some more co-pilot co flying vehicles out on the workshop. Maybe, maybe even some helicopters too. What do you think? That would be cool. We gotta, we gotta find a helicopter that actually uses a co-pilot. I don't know how many do and how many don't. I've never really looked into helicopters, to be honest. We'll, we'll do the research. But if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps out the channel more than you know. Go check out Moonbo as well. His link is in the description down below as well. Ooh. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Bye.